The simple thing is just this, hot water, a little bit of honey, little bit of turmeric. The Harvard University, they're conducting a research on how the yoga practitioners, are they surviving better? It'll boost the immune system, but at the same time, it's like a gauge. So those of you who are looking for a magic wand way out of the virus situation, there is no magic wand. Very conscientious, responsible steps are needed. Once we relax the lockdown, anybody's guess? Till now, most of us have been protected by isolating ourselves. Now when we have to step out, this is when the real challenge happens. This is when really how responsible and sensible we are matters. After the lockdown is over, when the economic process begins, the best thing you can do is how to enhance the immunity in your system. We can give you a protocol how to maintain this. One thing is strict maintenance of uh, social distancing, this must become your religion. Okay? That is if you're religious, I'm saying. Otherwise, this must become your sadhana. So before you go for your morning sadhana, you must take eight to twelve leaves and put it in your mouth, chew it and keep it in your mouth. It's very important it's in your mouth. It's most effective when it's in your mouth region. So you must keep it in your mouth, chew it for one to two hours, let it be there, don't wash it up, don't drink it down, let it just be there in the mouth, do your sadhana with that. Turmeric balls every day mixing up, you consume this in the morning and leave it in the stomach before you eat anything at least for one hour. Another thing is, this is the amla season, that is the nalikai for Kannada people, the better nalikai. So right now the season is on, not those huge, uh, you know, golf ball kind of amla. That is all hybrid amla, that is also okay if you don't find anything else. But otherwise, what grows in the hills is only this size. You just smash one amla and put a little salt on it and just chew it. You must keep it in your mouth and it's most effective once again in your mouth. It must be just in your mouth for one or two hours. These simple things will greatly enhance your uh, immune system. See, there are many traditional things uh, which we can do to, uh, you know, boost our immunity. You know, the last thirty-nine years that I'm in, in, the, in this uh, public life, almost every day I have some public event, some event which I am committed to large groups of people. But in these thirty-nine years, in all this travel, I have not cancelled a single event because I am not well. The simple thing that we do when… Uh, when we see that we are exposed to infections when we are traveling, if we see there are viral infections or influenza going on, uh, all these years of my visits to United States, I don't catch influenza when it's running rampantly all over. The simple thing is just this, hot water, a little bit of honey, little bit of turmeric, and uh, if uh, it is possible, some pudina or coriander in it a little bit. Right now, this is what we are doing to all the police personnel and the medical personnel in our region. We are uh, providing them what is called as Nila Vembu Kashayam, which works very well. We did this across Tamil Nadu when the dengue fever was on, it made a big difference. Instead of drinking just plain water, if they just drink this as a part of their thing, I think it will definitely help. It has helped me. I'm just telling you grandmother stuff, not medical stuff, okay? But it's worked. It worked for my grandmother, it worked for me <laughs> The only way is to enhance our immune system. The only way is to behave socially in a responsible manner. This is the way forward. And it's a new world, at least for the next one or two years, it is going to be a different world than what we have lived in. Uh, right now, <clears throat> many things are being done. One aspect is 
The Harvard University in collaboration with the Beth Israel Hospital uh, Medical Center in United States, together they're conducting a research on how the yoga practitioners, people who have been doing some yogic practices, how do they respond to a virus like this? What is their resilience? Are they surviving better? I am hundred percent sure they're surviving better. But we need, uh, what to say, medical evidence for this, but I am hundred percent sure because uh, I have not heard of a single case of any of our meditators dying. Some of them have lost their parents, aged relatives, but not meditators, related. So, uh, yoga doesn't come through blood, you got to do it. You <laughs> That's the only problem with the damn thing. It works miraculously, but you have to do it. Yoga, 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 Shwaraya, Bhuta, 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 Shwaraya, Kala, 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 Shwaraya, Shiva. Shiva Sarveshwaraya Shambha Shambha Mahadevaya So, what we're doing, this simple mantra, you must understand, what we are calling as a mantra is just a certain geometry of sounds. If properly uttered, will… this mantra is particularly designed to generate what is called a samat prana. There are five dimensions of pranavayu in the system. Samat prana is that which is in charge of respiratory process and the thought process and it generates heat. Well, the pranavayu is fundamentally in charge of respiration and uh, thought process, but without the fire of samat prana, pranavayu cannot function. So this is why any kind of kriya or pranayam that you do, first thing is to generate some heat, because without generating the ushna, the other dimensions cannot really fly. So, one thing is to generate heat because this will also greatly enhance one's immune system. Let us not think that uh, now I am doing my kriya so I can go out irresponsibly, no. I never said <laughs> your kriya or your mantra is a solution for uh, corona, it is not. It strengthens your system. Well, building up immunity is not going to happen overnight, this we must know. I would say in four to eight weeks one can see significant betterment of one's immune system. So, this package of the mantra and the Isha Kriya, which will bring balance to your system, let us make use of it for our well-being. In the yogic sciences, there are various things one can do to enhance one's immune system. In terms of practices, we have put out a very… a simple, uh, powerful process called uh, Simha Kriya. This is a kind of process, one thing is it will boost the immune system. Another thing is it is… it involves your breath in a certain way. Suppose you start doing it today, after a week's time, if you find some difficulty in doing it, you clearly know you have some respiratory stuff, even before other symptoms show up. Even before other symptoms with which you normally medically recognize, even before that you will see you will not be able to do the practice the moment there is some kind of a respiratory cause. Uh, this viral being… you know, being a, a very respiratory related uh, thing, it'll be very useful if you're doing the practice every day, twice a day, it'll boost the immune system, but at the same time, it's like a gauge, if you suddenly can't do it one day, you know there is something wrong with your uh, function of your respiratory system.
Uh, most people develop relationship with the soil only after they die. But it's very important to develop relationship with the soil when you're alive. I would say especially now, with this virus around, believe me, those of you who are in some way in contact with the soil, here we call this uh, Prutvi Prema Seva, that means getting involved with the soil in a very loving manner. Well, your ability to live, your ability to resist these kind of invasions upon your life will be greatly, greatly enhanced. It's not just enough if you live, it's important that you live strong. Living strong does not mean you grow big muscles and dominate somebody. Living strong means here life happens big. For this, you need a, a body which treats the entire planet as its extension, which it is. So, uh, it's very important that you bring this, all of you who are here at the Isha Yoga Center, we will set up some processes for you so that every one of you, at least once in three days, your hands and feet are in the soil. Very important. <laughs> and wherever, wherever else you are, if you have a small patch of a garden, or uh, you can volunteer that you will work in somebody else's garden. Believe me, yes, they will get free labor, but don't think they are getting more, you are getting much more because you being connected with the soil will make a phenomenal difference for your… for the way your physical body functions. Put your hands into the soil, very important. Otherwise, those of you who are too well-to-do but don't want to be seen doing any work be because it may create a wrong image for your affluence, you can have a mud butt. Yes, that is also one way. <laughs> this will do wonders for you. So if you maintain these protocols, very easily you can enhance your immune system because ultimately that's the only way you have.